I thought I'd just do a little bit of a quick show of footwork. I found myself doing the stupid thing, and by the way, I've only got half my foot on the fucking board to actually get away from this bloody... So if I stand comfortably, so that I'm feeling like I'm standing vert vertically, I've got that much space between the bottom of my ribs and the bloody bars, or if I'm actually trying to rouse up my toes. So this is just, just friggin' stupid. Um, and if I want to put my feet further forwards like that, so I've got my toe on the top of the thing there, I've got to have my heel almost off, well, my heel is off the back of the board. Um, so, you know, it's, it's got basically, yeah, it's made for someone that wants to stand like that. Like, duh, I'm just going for a ride. I'm on the park. Fuck. Okay, we're coming up towards the top of the hill. Uh, it's, it sat on like 22 to 23 all the way up here on gear two. Now, the advantage of going a bit slower is that in theory, it's um, uh, using less battery, but I'm down to two bars on my battery. So um, hopefully that'll recover when it takes the juice off. Um, yeah, interesting. It's been an interesting ride so far. I'm finding myself alternating position with basically my, my, my knees not bent anymore, so that I'm doing my back foot down on top of the hinge there, and my other foot there, but lean forward like that, uh, and then just swap every now and again to give myself a rest because like you know it's it's totally not an energetic bike to stand on you know let's go down here for a bit of a whiz it's a real you know vexing thing because the chassis is made to take it everything works really well designed for really going faster but the cockpit just fucking leaves a lot to be desired three touching the brakes now though <coughs> there we go so now I'm cruising back home there's a tailwind at the moment, so I'm willing to go a bit faster on the way home. Because, you know, wind resistance, right? Um, that's the main thing you've got to fight against, really, wind resistance. So if you've got a tailwind, gosh, you can go faster, who'd have thought? But um, it actually is good for the motors to be spinning them up higher because, you know, Lenz's Law, impedance, back EMF. So I'm actually not using a ton of power at this speed, which is 41 kilometers an hour, um, with a tailwind. But there'd be a lot of people would say, you can't ride a scooter with one hand because they're unstable. Well, buy one of these. This is actually a really designed piece of gear with a few issues that shit me. But you know, one of my personality problems is when I find something that shits me, it tends to color everything else. You know, it's like if I put a piece of dog shit, just one small piece of dog shit in your spaghetti bolognese or your know, fettuccine carbonara, it's gonna spoil the whole fucking dish, right? But I'm gonna try and pick that piece of dog shit out. I hope it doesn't taint the rest of the thing. So here we go, coming up this hill. 40, let's see how she drops down. How's the handle to talk? Again, you can hit those cat's eyes and it doesn't make any difference. 37, 36, 36, yep, one bar on the battery left, maybe two. Um, 38, oh, hit a big bump there, that would have that would have hurt on the wide wheel. I'm not paying attention to the road while I'm looking at shit and talking, so there it is. 